All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys. We've got this special stepped washer. And what's going to happen is this washer, what's so great about it with that step, is it's going to go flat against that center spacer that's down in there. This washer here is going to is stepped up so it has the ability to just hit the race and to not hit the, the cage, okay? People are, if you don't understand this and you do this, okay, and you torque that down, what's the bearing going to do? It's going to hit the cage and It's going to lock up, okay? Now, listen, every mechanic should know. Doesn't this sound familiar, what I was showing you guys on steering stem bearing installation? Yep. I was showing you how too many people don't know to put that gap in there. That, what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to see what we need to uh, machine or what we need to do to correct the end plate. So I'm going to slip this one on, okay? I'm going to put my bearing on, okay? I'm going to go ahead and redo my stack here. Now we need to go ahead and try torquing it again, and hopefully this time we'll be able to get to full torque. Look at, with that spacer in there, something I want you to get close and see if you can hear this. You see that now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where before it wouldn't do that. It seemed like, oh, it's good. Okay. That we want that right now. We want that. You want to torque it. We're going to torque it all the way. This is the point you have to torque it all the way. If while he's torquing, if this quits, what do we do? We got to add another spacer. Add more washers. Ready? Yep. All right. We're going to go ahead and torque it. There you go. Okay. So we got to make sure we aren't hitting the. Uh, device here so now we need to do this now we got to get into our measuring tools here okay check this out here we could fine-tune this here I'm gonna go ahead and just get to our zero and what we're gonna do now Alex you grab that side is we're just gonna take it find out ready lift okay we got a mile of space right mm -hmm. okay so what's our spec? We're gonna lift this while he's looking that up. I need to actually know where we're at because this is important now. We uh, just kind of flipped zero. to the 50. Then that's, we want to go to the maximum number. Ready? All the way up and hold. What are we at? 50? 50. Okay. Yep. It's so we're at 50 thousandths is where we're at right now. Out of the shovel head manual here, he's got it on. Shovel head manual, they're saying uh, four to 18 thousandths. Okay, four was the number I had in my head. So I'll save that page. So how much shorter does that spacer need to be? Um, well, it's at 50. It's at 50. We want to so be at four. We want to be at four. Oh. 46. So we got to be 46. Okay, we need to take 46 thousandths off that spacer. Let's go do that. All right, let's finish this thing up. We got our new cut spacer in there. If you haven't watched part one, please do so. I give some great tips on how you should always uh, spin the bearing as you torque like he's doing there to check and verify that it isn't locking up as you torque it. Ready? One, two, three. About two. Okay, here's another thing too. So uh, going off what you think you know or something it's good to always think about uh, reviewing and checking with experts that are doing this stuff all day long. One thing I've realized as an instructor, I've had to really check myself and be careful. Uh, step, definitely don't go off memory. That's why you saw here we were pulling out multiple service manuals and doing it comparisons, even from a shovel head to uh, Evo, using the same style bearings, same exact part number. The specs back in these days were four to 18 thousandths, and here they were two to six thousandths. Talking to guys out there, they're just servicing a lot of motorcycles. They're getting a lot of miles on the road. They're saying they like to set those things, you know, right at uh, one to two thousandths, and then make sure that you can do this. Life is good. Put it back together, and then as it wears, it'll get a little play in there. So that's what you want to do. Every mechanic should know. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and. Uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.